Item number SCP-2862 Index Beholder Object Class Euclid SCP-2862 observing a nearby subject during its first days of containment. Special Containment Procedures SCP-2862 is blindfolded at all times. SCP-2862 is contained in an empty and featureless 15 square meter room. The area is painted black and contains a small, translucent perch and feeding bowl. The area is monitored at all times for visual aberrations. The feeding system is automated and deposits a live rat every five hours. In the case of containment breach, SCP-2862 is to be tranquilized and blindfolded immediately. Mobile task forces are instructed to approach the entity and obstruct its view as best as possible, taking priority to obstruct the view of objects that could prove especially hazardous if transmogrified. Description SCP-2862 is an entity resembling a northern white-faced owl, Ptilopsis leucotis. It is 25 centimeters in length and weighs 3.4 kilograms. The entity behaves in a manner similar to the animal it resembles, showcasing typical cognition and problem-solving skills. SCP-2862's behaviors might suggest that it has experienced its primary anomalous effect since hatching. Anomalous properties of SCP-2862 present themselves when SCP-2862 interacts with an object. SCP-2862 will interact with an object in a way that would suggest that it is further or closer from the object in question, not respective of the Euclidean location of the object. This effect does not always propagate, and SCP-2862 commonly interacts with physical objects in a non-anomalous manner. This effect is believed to be triggered by SCP-2862's perception of its surroundings. SCP-2862 will pull objects toward it, causing them to become smaller relative to SCP-2862's perspective of said object. When this happens, an outside observer may see the affected object scaling toward SCP-2862. In all cases, the transmogrified objects have increased radioactive activity, assumed to be due to the shift in molecular structure. Further testing is currently underway. SCP-2862's control over the effect is active and instinctive. Likelihood of predation in subjects is more likely the farther away from SCP-2862 that they are, and whether or not SCP-2862 has been fed. A smell similar to ozone is discernible in SCP-2862's presence. Reasons for this anomaly are unknown. Addendum A Event 002A. D0550 is instructed to maintain as much distance as possible between himself and SCP-2862. D0550 enters the room and looks at SCP-2862. He slowly edges into the corner of the room. SCP-2862 watches D0550, turning its head left and right. D0550 slumps down on the floor against the wall putting his hands over his eyes. Subject is mumbling to himself. SCP-2862 screeches, distancing itself from D-0550. D-0550, upon hearing the noise, jerks to his feet and retreats to another corner. No abnormal activity for 15 minutes. Although SCP-2862 is observing D-0550 closely for the duration, D-0550 scales toward SCP-2862's talons, and is now roughly 7 centimeters in length. SCP-2862 perches and begins feeding on the translocated D-0550 before researchers can intervene. D-0550 makes vocalizations, but the words are indiscernible. Event 002-B D-0551 is instructed to approach SCP-2862. D-0550. Hey, bird. D-0551 approaches SCP-2862. SCP-2862 retreats. Laughing. Hey, come back. 
SCP-2862 assumes a defensive posture, spreading its wings. SCP-2862 begins bobbing and twisting its head. Big little guy. D-0551 moves to touch SCP-2862. SCP-2862 screeches and contracts its body. SCP-2862 squints. This fucker is cute. D-0551 begins screaming. D-0551's body appears to be slowly crushed vertically. D-0551 appears to be frozen in place and is lifted slightly off of the ground. SCP-2862's head and eye movements reflect this. SCP-2862 twists its head 180 degrees. D-0551 revolves around SCP-2862, hammering into a wall. SCP-2862 sharply twists its head clockwise and counterclockwise several more times. SCP-2862 cleans its feathers.